Family and friends came out to pay their last respects to the 15 year old who was murdered in what one gang leader said was a case of mistaken identity. This as the men standing accused of this murder turned over to the NYPD. Monica Guy has the full story. Monica. Bill, it's the court case that's gathered national attention. Six of the suspects wanted in connection with that gruesome murder outside of a bodega in the Bronx went before a judge in Patterson, New Jersey for an extradition hearing. They'll join other suspects already charged with killing 15 year old Lissandro Guzman Feliz. One by one, six of them who were caught in Patterson went before a superior court judge in Passaic County. Judge Ernest Capicella oversaw the proceedings. All of the suspects in the court today facing murder charges when they get to New York and all of them being sent back there. Flanked by an interpreter and a public defender, they face the judge. And in case there was any doubt as to why they were in court, the judge made it crystal clear. Mr. Munoz, you've been charged in the state of New York with the crime of murder. All but one of those suspects wore headphones so they could understand the interpreter and all but one kept their heads down. With the hashtag Justice for Junior trending in remembrance of Guzman Feliz, who was affectionately known as Junior, thousands of mourners paid their respects for a second day in a row. Junior was dragged out of a bodega and hacked to death with a machete in the Tremont section of the Bronx last Wednesday. Several of the suspects fled to Patterson, New Jersey, where cops busted them on Sunday. I talked with the city's mayor-elect about the case. I wanted to let the police know that I was proud of the work that they were doing because it was a collaboration between the NYPD and the Patterson Police Department. NYPD detectives are expected to take the suspects back to New York within the next several days to face charges for Junior's murder. In the meantime, the public defender who represented several of the suspects for today's extradition hearing told reporters that their families are actually being threatened. Their families are all being threatened. Um, children, um, I would ask everyone to please let the system run its course. Reporting for Chasing News from Patterson, New Jersey, I'm Monica Guy. Bill.